Hello, Snack Pack. Welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's episode is all about snazzing up your cabin area. Is that what you call it? Cabin area, cockpit, driving portal, road cave. I don't know. But today is all about DIYing the area where you drive so that you feel comfortable driving in it for hours upon hours. So let's jump right in. My van is a 2003 Chevy Express Explorer model. So it is quite a few years old and the look of the interior was kind of nice. All the back was leather or leather or whatever you want to call it and the upfront area was really nice I'm sure at the time they had this nice brown wood grain but since it's now 17 years old that wood grain was a little worn and I personally don't love the look of wood grain so I didn't like it and I really didn't like the light gray headliner which is this same color, but I'm not gonna stay in these seats. And the car that I had previous to this van, which is the one that I was living in, had a very nice dark gray black interior. And when I slept in the car, I felt very like comforted and warm and cozy. And so I really wanted to mimic that feel in the front part of my van. So I decided to reupholster the headliner, repaint, all the plastic, well, most of the plastic, and just make it look a little bit more modern. So in this video, I'm not gonna be doing a lot of talking, which some of you comment on some of my videos that I like to talk a lot. So it'll just be me showing you all the steps that I did to get it to look the way it looks today. ceiling panel because we know the ceiling can support this weight so I figured if it's good enough for the regular ceiling in the back seat it's good enough for overhead. I'm gonna try to see if I can cut it to where it fits in this hole and not interfere with the lights that I gotta measure. You're gonna to wanna to be very careful when you detach any speakers from something else. When I pulled the speaker off of the ceiling board, I accidentally pushed my finger into this little paper film thing, which causes the speaker to rattle. I tried to glue it, but that didn't work. It's not ideal. I think eventually I'm gonna to have to buy another speaker. It's gonna be a hassle because there's no way for me to really get to the wires because they're under the cabinet, blah, 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 all these things. Be very careful and also make sure that you wire the speakers correctly. At first I didn't have it installed correctly and the wire were sparking and that could have been a problem. You don't want to light your van on fire. Pops out from the back and there you go. And then you're just gonna beat this so that you can get some of the dirt and Dry off of it. I need something else. This isn't. I don't know what else to use, but maybe, maybe like towel or. Oh, just your hand. This headliner is looking good. You know what else is gonna look good? Is if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And you might as well throw a like on this video. I broke it. That's not a smart idea. I gotta glue it back together.
me to cut this wood. Now that the upholstery of the headliner is done, let's jump into the, I don't even know what you call it, the upper part that's plastic that has your visors in it. Is that called a windscreen or a wind plastic cover up or thingy? Anyways, I wanted to paint that black, so I found a way to do it and it turned out so good. So let's take a look at how I accomplished that. You're gonna wanna be careful when you're detaching stuff off of the van headliner area because I ended up breaking one of my visor clips. I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a deal, but once I had to buy another one, it was $12 for just one little clip. So that kind of sucked. The final thing that I wanted to do was to cover up all the wood grain. I didn't pop off the whole dash frame. I ended up just taping around it and spraying it in the van. If you do this, you're really gonna wanna take a lot of time. Actually, I think it took more time to tape off everything than it did to spray things down. But you're gonna wanna tape things off with painter's plastic and blue painter's tape. Cover up any carpet or anything that you have so you don't get overspray. Basically, I didn't take a lot of footage of it because it's the same process as I did for this upper headliner situation. Sand it down, spray adhesive promoter on it, give a few good coats. I used flat black on my dash panel. And although it looks super modern and nice, it definitely collects dust more often. You're gonna wanna get some sort of duster for your van because you don't wanna have it looking all dusty all the time. So I purchased this California car duster on Amazon. It's a mini one for your dash and it works really great. It's lightly coated with some type of wax. And so when you dust it, it kind of clings the dirt onto here. I like this thing and it's mini and it fits in my side door. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And if you have done this to your van or car, let me know. I'd like to hear how it went for you. And if you have any other tips, share it with the snack pack.
Time.